Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode. This is a really special edition episode where Jamie and I are going to go over all of the amazing lessons learned from 2022 and make sure we bring all of that advice and lessons into 2023 so that we can start off the year strong uh, with the learnings that we got from 2022 from not only our personal lives and our own journeys, but from our guests. And so please make sure you put your email on our email um, campaign address on flippinthebarrel.com so that you can stay up to date with all of the amazing things that are happening at Flip in the Barrel in 2023. First is we are under two months before our Pursuing Greatness event, March 3rd at the Petroleum Club in Houston, Texas. And let's be honest, it's going to sell out quickly. And so make sure you are one of the first people to find out when the tickets will go live. And how do you do that? you got to put your email address on our email uh, list on our website. And so, Jamie, I'm so excited to finally be recording this episode. We've been talking about it for such a long time. Um, We've been wanting to do this for a while, and we're just excited to be doing this with you. I know. I mean, thank you, everybody, for tuning in once again. And like Maciel said, we literally have been going back and forth on when are we going to release this? When can we do this? So, We're really excited. We're happy to jump right into it. And for those that maybe this is like the first or second episode that you've ever heard from us, uh, we really want to just give y'all a summary of kind of how 22 went and how many episodes we actually recorded, which is really impressive. Um, So let's just go into it. Uh, So last year, uh, we did 31 episodes um, in over 80 countries. Seriously, Flipping the Barrel went global, which is just really amazing. Uh, I would have to say, Having this platform and being able to do it, um, especially on Zoom, uh, really allowed a lot of people to tune in from all over and us to be able to record episodes from people all over the world, which goes into our ne- my next comment, which is going to be on the top five listen to episodes. And going back to what I just said on just being able to go global, we had Felipe Bayon, uh, the Columbia, he lives in Columbia, he's the CEO of Echo Patrol. He was our number one episode last year. Uh, It would never have been possible if we weren't able to record it via Zoom. Uh, And his episode was called You Will Never Be CEO. We highly recommend y'all going and listening to that. Another top episode last year was Be Limitless with Starly Sykes. Uh, She's the senior VP of Gulf of Mexico in Canada at BP. She's located in Houston. Our third was The Naked Ugly Truth, Embracing Leadership Lessons with Regina Jones, the Chief Legal Officer at Baker Hughes. She was also one of our um, panelists uh, at our Reputation Matters event. So if y'all were able to attend that, y'all know just how amazing she was and how great her story is. We highly recommend uh, listening to her. The, another one was Leaders Get the Culture They Deserve. Um, that's Soma. He's the CEO of Champion X. I mean, Soma, we can't even go in to describe how amazing this episode is just on culture, diversity, and how he built such an amazing company. Highly recommend. And lastly, it's Not a Race with Wendy King, the VP of the Gulf of Mexico and Rockies at ConocoPhillips. We just had an incredible run last year, and we're going to jump into the lessons learned from not only these episodes, but the other ones that we recorded. Yes, Jamie, thank you for sharing the top five of FTB of 2022. Um, By the way, don't worry if you didn't write all of those down. We will link them below in the comment section of the podcast. And so you can go and check out the top five episodes. So the first lesson is take a risk. Try something new. Challenge yourself by getting out of your comfort zone. All of the guests that we had on achieve big goals and success by taking a leap of faith, taking on a role that they didn't think would would be good for them, leaving to another company, moving countries. I mean, no one achieved success by staying in their comfort zone. And so that's number one. Number two, which we, this is a question that you probably know that we ask every single guest, which is work-life balance. How do you do it? And does it even exist? And what we have learned is that it doesn't exist. Um, And the reason is because, through life, there's different pendulums that swing. One way you might be more family oriented and things are needed during that time. And another work might be more demanding. Uh, so what we have found is that every everyone requires a different level of what they call their balance. And for some 
for somebody, it might not be what they think is a balanced life, but for others, it's what makes them happy. Uh, and we have really seen that through every single episode and their advice on how they handle the ups and downs of the demands of what life brings them. So at the end of all of that, basically, you know, balance looks very different for everyone and don't compare your journey to uh, basically anybody else that you have um, surrounding you, like your neighbor. <laughs> I love that one. Uh, number three is just let life work itself out sometimes. Um, a lot of the guests we had on when we would ask them if they had, you know, big goals and aspirations of like one day becoming CEO or running a business uh, or just a lot of the high achievements that they've done, if this is something that they were like constantly battling and trying to get to it. And a lot of them said no, that this, this kind of just like happened as life went on, opportunities came their way. And you know, life just works itself out. I was very surprised by that because I always thought that you had to like plan every single year and day to get to where you want. But really the people who make it, they're not doing that. They're just really putting their best work out there, you know, networking, doing great work and life, you know, a little bit of luck into it too. And just letting life work itself out. And I think what's important with that one, Marcel, is that they always, many of the guests say to be present in the role that you're in today. So do the best at wherever you're at today and the rest will come. It's when we're always striving for that next job because we think we've been in this job for two years. It's time to move on where things tend to not work out um, in our favor. And, and then we tend to rush. Uh, and the biggest advice there is really um, to be patient. So that's a really, a really great one. Another one that I really like is other people's opinions don't define who you could become. If you dream it, you put the work in, that's enough. And some of our guests were even told at the very beginning, they would never be able to become CEO. I mean, if you listen to Felipe Bayon's episode, he was told in middle career, like, there's no way you'll ever be a CEO. And he's one today, as we all well know, and not only that, but he's an amazing leader. And a lot of times we really take to heart what other people say about us when they're not in our journey. They don't know who we can become. They don't know what we're capable of. And sometimes we're not even aware of what we're capable of yet. So I really, really want everybody listening today to understand that other people's opinions should not hold you back from your dream. And, you know, just as an example, even this podcast, we were told from the beginning stages to not do it. It's career suicide. And look at us today, three years later, and it's definitely wasn't career suicide. But if we would have listened to those people, we wouldn't be here today telling you our top 22 episodes. We wouldn't have one. So I mean, I really, you know, we really felt this one. So we just really want to make sure that our listeners understand that if, if you're having, you have an idea today, you have something you want to try, do it and do it and do not let those around you hold you back from what you, what you might be destined for. Yeah. I love that one. Um, and it's, it's unfortunate, but we, a lot of us do live our lives always waiting for approvals from other people and just letting other people's opinions navigate your journey but like you mentioned Jamie like no one's in that driver's seat as you are and so it's it's okay to get feedback and take it and improve on certain things but at the end of the day you still have to listen to kind of like your core and what you think is right for you um, no one else will be able to give you that that key um the number five is sponsors these are extremely important in one's career and by sponsors we mean someone that mentions your name when you're not in the room and so part of sponsors is just networking. I think a lot of us forget how important networking is, specifically women. Um, you, in order to be successful in your career, from what we learned from our guests, is that you really need to have a strong network and sponsors, not only mentors, but sponsors. They're the ones who are naming you for opportunities when you're not there. Mm -hmm. Now, that's so true, Marcel. Number six is sacrifice. Um, and I think sometimes this might be overdone and we hear all the time, like, or oh, to be successful, you have to sacrifice, but sacrifice comes in different forms. Um, and in need in, in your need to achieve the journey that you're on, you know, it's gotta be worth the sacrifice that you're giving. All of our guests during their time through their career at some point, um, they had to give up something, have that be a time with their family, their finances, a career stop, they had to take a break, time off, et cetera. That is something that each person did and it was unique to them. 
And so sacrifice is not, you know, you need to, everybody needs to give up all this time at night and they need to work 24 seven to get to achieve their goal. It can be small things like you had to sacrifice giving up, um, you know, one hour of your day that you maybe you used to, you used to for do something else during that time. So another thing with sacrifice is that companies themselves, we even heard it in some of our episodes they really supported their employees because they understood what they were giving up in order to do a role for them. And especially when it comes to oil and gas and energy, you know, we're a 24 um, seven industry. So there's going to be times where you're gone all night long, you're gone from hitches, you're out working, you're not going to be with your family. And so it's important to, um, to, for you to validate, you know, is that sacrifice worth, worth what I'm doing? And does my family understand? And, you know, what does this mean for me in the long run? Um, so our episodes and our, our guests had all talked about what they did and, and what happened and why it, why they ended up achieving their goal, giving up some, some things along the way, but in the end, it was all worth it. Uh, so sacrifice is definitely something that we, um, that everybody has to do at some point in their life. And that, like I said, that could look different for each person. I love that. Number seven is a very important one, in my opinion, is take care of yourself first. Um, a lot of the guests that we had on mentioned that they needed their me time and how important that was because when they didn't have that in their career or in their journey is when things went south because you're trying to please everybody around you you're putting your kids first your husband first your work first and when you become last is when things start to crumble and so kind of like at on the airplane they say you know make sure you put your oxygen mask on first before you help others this is very true in one's life and career because you cannot be at your ultimate best if you're not taking care of yourself. And by taking care of yourself, different guests do different things. Some are really big into just fitness, making sure they go for a run in the morning to get their minds off things, do yoga, um, taking care of their health by eating good food, uh, just you know, making sure that your, your body is in sync with itself in order to be the best version of you. So make sure you take care of yourself in 2023. I know that's one that you and I are definitely very keen on, especially, um, you know, being a parent and having children, taking care of yourself really sits on the back burner for everyone. Um, So it's just important to not forget about you uh, because without you being your best self, your family can't be their best best selves either. So very important one. Uh, Number eight is everyone's journey is different. Success comes at very different times. Um, Some are right in the beginning and others are later on in life. And don't give up because you feel like your age is limiting you. So many people, even in the podcast and outside the podcast, you know, we've seen this with different industries, not just energy. Um, They get success at 50, 60, 70 year olds. I believe like it was like Popeye's or Colonel Sanders or one of those chicken guys that was like, it was like 60 something. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, and that's when he started, I think he was going like house to house. I don't know the whole story, but I just remember that he was very late or later in life uh, when he started one of the most successful businesses today that's world renowned. So if anything, I just want everybody listening that it does not matter your age. Uh, It doesn't, do not compare yourself with the person next to you because you will find some people get success in their twenties early thirties and others later on in life. And that does not mean that because you're 40 or 50 or 60, you can't do that. We have some episodes that even are highlighted. You can go back and look and it's like reinventing myself at 40. We had a guest that came on that literally at 40, she started her whole life over and she's now very successful. Not like she wasn't before, but she just took it to the next level. Mm -hmm. Age shouldn't limit you. And everyone's journey is going to be different. I wanted to add on the journey just looking very different for everyone. I was always impressed by just how different all of our guest stories are and just the timelines. It's no one was just perfect uphill in their career the entire time. And it's just this beautiful story. It's everyone went through very different stuff, very challenging times. Some only became, you know, high success after 10, 15 years. And then they climbed quickly at the end. Others were climbing up super fast early on and then it kind of stalled in the middle and then so it's like it's really do not compare your journey to anybody and it's 
easier said than done because, you know, I feel like, you know, Jamie and I will do that sometimes, even when we talk to each other and we compare ourselves to other people, you know, a 10 year mark, other people had done this and this and this, and I've only done this. And it's like, it doesn't matter because we're all going to reach very different peaks in our careers at different times. And so don't judge your journey by comparing yourself. It's like the worst thing that we could do. And so don't do that in 2023. Um, and then last, which is probably one of our favorite lessons, is that it's super important and crucial for you to find a good partner in life because you need that in order to be successful. And by partner, we don't just mean like your spouse. It's really, you need someone along the ride that's there to be your cheerleader, that's there to support you when you need it the most, because we can't make it alone. There's going to be times you need, you know, that one shoulder to cry on or that one person that's going to help you step up to the next, you know, level. And so it's crucial to find a good partner. And um, a lot of the female executives that we have had on that have achieved success, you know, making it to the C level, they all said that they, they would not be where they are today if it wasn't for their husband, who had to do a lot of sacrificing and take up a lot of the workload when they couldn't and who were there to cheerlead them on when they were having a bad day at work or when they wanted to quit because the, the, the journey is hard and they were the ones that were like no you got this you know like almost like mental coach and just all of husbands and spouses and partners are just like everything that you need at different journeys in your life and they're you know they're the reason that we can that we can make it out there. So it's very, very important that you find someone. Yeah, and to add to that, some of our guests too, it wasn't their spouse, it was their family in general. It was their cousin, their aunt, their uncle. They came when they needed them. They came and they helped with the kids or they came and they helped support them when they had to go international or they had a really close friend. We have some some of the guests had like close friends that you know, actually traveled around at the same time that they did. And now they're still friends today, 30 years later. And those are the people that they use as their backbone. So it's not always that person that you might be, um, you know, dating or married to or or somebody who's with you every day. Uh, It could definitely be a friend, um, you know, a family member. So it's just important just to make sure you have that circle around you. Uh, And that is what's really been, um, you know, a driver in a lot of people's success. So yeah, here were our top nine lessons learned. And, um, you know, to close off 2022, just thank you guys so much for the support from listening to our episodes, watching our YouTube, giving us a like or a comment on our LinkedIn or Instagram posts. I mean, just a community that we've been able to build uh, for FTB in 2022 was just incredible with both of the events that we had. Just like you guys don't understand how much this means to us just every single one of you that has helped us on this journey and we're very excited for 2023 and just so many great things are going to be happening for ftb and so we're very excited that you're along the journey with us and you might wonder why we don't have number 10 done and that's because we left it open for you we want our listeners to let us know what was your top lesson learned from these episodes this past year? We'd love to hear from you. Please comment either on our Facebook or Instagram down below on our website. When you want to write us, you can email us at flippingthebarrel at gmail.com. We want to know what was your best lesson learned. And we will add that to number 10 once we have it there. Um, and we will post it on our social media. So please, please don't forget. We'll have some links down below. Um, and let us know 